Hey there Dev Squad, Virtus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 user interface development series. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at an introduction to animation within our user interface in Unreal Engine 4. So animation inside of UMG is pretty straightforward. You are essentially going to have a timeline and you are going to just create keyframes along that just like any other sort of animation suite. Now in terms of what we're actually going to be animating, um, as part of our main menu we have a little bit of text at the bottom here which just says like alpha version 0.1. What we're going to be doing is just telling this to fade over and over again. So the transparency is going to go down then it's going to go up and so on and by the end of this video you guys will have an understanding of how the animation sort of workflow works within Unreal Engine and will be able to create your own stuff using some of the many different types of track inside of Unreal Engine. So what we've got to do first then is get an object that we can animate. And for us, like I said, it's going to be this text at the bottom. So what I'm going to do is within my palette, I am just going to drag in a piece of text. And then I'm also just going to anchor it to the bottom. For the text within the details panel, I'm just going to set the content to alpha version 0.1, just like this. And then I'm going to increase my font size a bit and change my typeface to light. So it looks similar to how I have it in the main menu. And I'm just going to drag this into place just like that. And I think the size I'm going to go for is going to be about 40. Perfect. Cool. So let's go about actually animating this now. And the way we're going to do this is by selecting the object that you want to animate. And then in the bottom left hand corner, we have a list of all the animations. At the moment, there's currently nothing there. So if we want to create our own animation, press the big green button that says plus animation. From here you can give it a name and what I'm going to do is just call it alpha fade and what that means to me is just essentially that it's the alpha version bit we're trying to fade in and out. So just give it a name that is relevant. So now we've done this we can actually click on the animation and go to our timeline if it's not open already. Within our timeline we have got a little grid and this grid is going to show you sort of the maximum amount of time for your animation. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a track within this timeline. So having said that, I'm gonna go to plus track and notice I've got my text here. Now at the moment, it just does say text. If I was to have more than one piece of text, then it's gonna be a little bit difficult to know which one's which. And this is where you really do need to make sure you give your text a name. So with my text still selected, I'm going to go to the top of my details panel and just give this the name alpha text. And now if I go back to plus text, you can see all I got to do is just press alpha text and I know it's going to be the one. So from here, we've got our object within our animation. What we need to do now then is set up an animation track. And an animation track is essentially just um, properties of that object being changed over time. And the property that I want to change over time in this instance is the opacity, which is our sort of transparency. So I'm going to go to plus track. And then from here, you can see we've got a whole list of different things that we can play around with everything from the color and opacity to the transform, which is going to be sort of the location, scale, rotation, that kind of stuff, visibility, shadow, and all of that good stuff. So all of these are different properties for you guys to experiment with. Um, but the one that I'm going to work with in today's video is just color and opacity. And with all of these properties, everything is going to work in the same way in terms of creating um, a timeline and your keyframe and all of that good stuff. So essentially anything I do within this can transfer over to the knowledge used for creating any other kind of track. The only difference being is that the, you know, you are changing a different property, but everything else works exactly in the same way. So with my color and opacity track, I can go ahead and expand this. 
And then with this, you can see I've got my values for red, green, blue, and opacity. What I'm gonna be doing is essentially every second, it's gonna go from one to zero opacity. And then it's gonna go back up and I'm just gonna tell this to loop. Now notice at the start here, we have got some keyframes at our zero point, which is the start of the animation. If you want to create some new keyframes, it's really, really straightforward. So you've got your little slider here, drag this to the point where you want to create your new keyframe, and then with it over that, all you've got to do then is just change the value in here. So our opacity, I want to set this down to zero. And you can see now, it's created a new keyframe, and you can see that by the little red dot in that place. If you guys want to add a new keyframe with the current information, you can just press the little plus icon. So you can do the same for the red, green, and blue if you want to. So you can also create sort of keyframes that are similar, and you can also create new keyframes by simply moving along and changing the value, and it's gonna work just like that. So what I've done now is I've created a keyframe at the zero point with my opacity being one, a keyframe at the one second point with the opacity being zero, so it's completely invisible, and then over at the two second point, it has gone all the way back to sort of being completely visible. So that, in its sense, in itself, is an animation. So if I drag my slider back to the beginning, I can press the little play button down here to view it, and you can see now that it is fading in just the way that I wanted it to. And you've also got a bunch of other tools down here to help you view your animation that you're creating. So you've got everything from jumping to the end, to jump to the next keyframe, um, or to your previous frame and so on. Just hover over these and you can see all of the different actions, but essentially these are just to allow you to control your timeline and sort of preview uh, sort of how everything looks. So. That is pretty much everything for a basic animation. You are gonna have absolutely everything you need from creating a track to best practices about sort of naming your objects. And I hope you guys have enjoyed it. In the next video, we're gonna be showing you how to fire off your animations using blueprints. But for now, once again, guys, thanks for watching. Stay awesome, keep creating. Your boy Virtus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.